Today I'm here at the SME assembly in uh, Luxembourg and um, I'm here with a fascinating person from uh, Sweden. Uh, would you uh, introduce yourself for our audience? Sure. So I'm Karis Yada. I'm the founder and CEO of 30 Minutes MBA. I started my first company when I was 17 and I've been helping companies and fast growing firms for almost 14 years now. Well, um, the reason why I wanted to speak to you is um, because before you, you said to me that you are advising startups mm -hmm. and you have a lot of experience yep. in how to build startup communities and startup scenes. So what would your advice be if, for example, in my city, sure. uh, they want to establish a startup scene? Mm -hmm. What would your advice be to, to make this um, startup scene bigger and to help it grow? Right. So just to clarify, uh, I have been advising startups and fast-growing firms for over a decade uh, and I am a connector in our community in Stockholm, uh, but we are many that have built that community and it's, it's a mutual effort, just to, to clarify that. But okay. there's a few things that are, are really important. One thing is the mentality of you know, paying it forward, to, to be generous with ideas and contacts and basically be inclusive. That's one of the core elements, I would say, why the Stockholm community has been so successful and something I definitely recommend for other communities to be too. So basically this pay it forward mentality um, and giving back, basically. Uh, another thing is to have a digital presence. So having a local hashtag, having a blog in English or a website, at least in English, not just a Facebook page, but some kind of page where you write about different startups and different events and basically show the world all these amazing things that is going on where you are okay. and also invite other people to join. So in that way it's, it will be easier for uh, international people to come to you but it will also be easier for the locals to see what's going on and join. So the digital presence, having this pay it forward, the go-giver uh, mentality and then um, meeting places. To have both co-working spaces, have uh, annual or even monthly meetups where people come and share ideas and connect with each other. So those are just a few things that I would recommend to, to focus on. Okay, um, right at the very beginning and when we talked earlier, um, you said that it's important to have connectors sure. and you said to me that you are a connector mm -hmm. in Stockholm. Mm -hmm. um, what is it and, and what, what can we do to implement something like that in Würzburg, my hometown? Right. So basically, a connector is a person that knows a lot of people and are introducing them to each other. So they are connecting people and ideas with each other, basically. And we are a few in Stockholm. You have Thomas Bennett, you have Jonas Almaning, myself, and a few others. And basically, it's people that really care about the community uh, and that are knowing a lot of people, um, both in the community and internationally. Uh, but the idea is basically just making sure that people meet and you know collaborate and, and do things together because that's where the magic happens. And especially if it's from you know different industries and different backgrounds. So if you connect a lawyer with a marketing person with a designer, you know in those kind of situations magic can happen. So that's part of what a connector is. Okay. Um, if uh, the last question, um, what is what is your main advice that you would give an a new startup scene in a new city, what, what should they do at the very beginning to, to help foster the startup scene in the city? So I, I would make sure that it's not forced, but that it's coming from you know having a strong passion and a vision for why entrepreneurship is important for this region, for instance. Uh, and I would make sure to collaborate between or have a collaboration between university, the the city itself, the private sector, entrepreneurs, and it's also important to have role models, to have local people, you know, founders or serial entrepreneurs or experts or whatever that comes into the community and contribute. But basically basically making it sure that it's uh, inclusive and then making it possible for, for young people to join as well. Uh, and just doing that through meetups, for instance, and organizing hackathons and stuff like that, it's a really good start. But having the clear vision, why is entrepreneurship important, why is startup something we want to focus on, uh, is definitely the absolute start. Well, I, to be honest, I could go on for hours now, <laughs> um, but uh, I think 
uh, we don't have that much time. Thank you very, very much. My it pleasure. was a pleasure. And uh, well, let's implement everything she said. Thank you. <laughs>